Hey guys, it's Hello Fun 6 here, and welcome back to me, Fraser. Welcome back to Horror Wednesdays with King of Penguins. I haven't uploaded in a bit, and there's a good reason for that. Uh, I want to limit my uploads to one or two a week. Uh, this was actually advised to me by one of my friends on Discord, and I want to thank them for that because uh, it's. I can breathe a little easier. But anyway, without further ado, I'm going to get straight back into this. I'm really enjoying this. Um, it's a lot of fun, although it's not really horror. Um, but I just got back from uh, going into town, which really was a lot of fun, anyways. I got a, um, I got a, uh, model as well, like a, uh, figurine from, uh, My Hero Academia. I got Toga, because Froppy wasn't there. <laughs> and here we go, hold on. You don't drink the entire night, but you sleep through everyone waking up. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I remember these four. Kirin, Mariah, Anatoly, and Gregor, right? It's been a while. And that's how fast you could run a startled. Whoa. Incredible. Impressive. <sighs> yeah, that's about how I feel about light every morning. I wish we had a deer here. With the food getting lower, let's just skip today's meal. I'm sure you, that's not thing you, you guys considering you live in Ukraine. I just had sushi, so I'm good as gold. No! Big guy needs his dinner. And it's only for one day. Various cultures and religions have practiced fasting through history. Or throughout history. We could just eat your mama on your shoulder. I think that's a mama. I don't know. That doesn't make us feel any better, Anatoly. What opinions do we, what options do we have? Our food wasn't rationed properly. We should have done that. Should have rationed our food. Anatoly leaves, bumbling to himself. So passive aggressive of him. Everyone goes to a separate area. Corinne is... Oh, sorry, Corinne's in the, Corinne in the bedroom. Gregor in the living room. Mariah in the kitchen. And Anatoly in the bathroom. Who do you want to speak to? Honestly, I'd rather think about how doomed everyone. But, uh... For the sake of things, I guess we'll speak with Corinne. Looks like she's just slicing away a block of wood. She's whittling. That, that, that's certainly a rare hobby. Where'd you get that knife? Hey. Can I let you in on a secret? Sure. I mean, that's up to you if you want to trust me, but since you're asking, I can be trusted. I've actually enjoyed your cooking so far. That's a relief. I thought you were judgmental about it. The others expect me to be rude and mean. So I have to keep that reputation up, right? Not necessarily. Can't have anyone thinking I'm soft. You're not sure where this is coming from. Maybe she has a crush on you? You did say that uh, last episode. Promise me you'll give me some cooking lessons soon. Okay? She's not ready yet, but you're not politely. Not ready? It's, it's a cooking lesson. She's not killing someone. Thank you. You're definitely sure can remember that. Up three hearts! Pretty cheerful music. You leave Corinne by yourself to continue slicing. What, what, she's ma what is she making? Is she making a block of wood? <laughs> well, she, no, she's slicing in a block of wood. Is she making a wooden knife? Everyone looks pretty down this evening. Whispering will just stop. Yeah, well, I'm afraid the nature doesn't answer to anyone. You're all doing great. We must be almost at the end of this nightmare. Something tells me and Tolly you could not be more wrong. I'm so hungry. Me too. You are too. You wish everyone a good night and get ready for bed. Hmm. You gonna have another night now? You gotta be with a growling stomach. I don't know how long people can survive for without food, but I think it's probably like at least several days. You have a strange dream. A boy is yelling at you in the kitchen. You keep telling him to lie down on the tray. But he keeps shaking his head, calling you names. So you do it. You lie down on the tray and make your body as flat as a board. You show him how it's done. His anger turns to courage. It does. And he pushes you into the oven. What is this, Hansel and Gretel? 
There's a stench of burning hair fills your lungs, you see him sneering back at you. You wake in a cold sweat. Ooh, I saw that. He was looking through the, um, door, looking at me very, very pleased with himself. Day five. Joy. We've lived five days in this foul cabin. Everyone seems to be sleeping in later than normal. Good! This time I'm just getting awake all night. Or, they're actually not asleep, and they're just lying in bed to, uh, conserve their calories. I'd recommend that's what you do. If you ever get, like, hungry and you don't want to eat, or, like, if you ever haven't eaten, just lie in bed and conserve some calories. Uh, if you want, like, a more in-depth analysis, look at House Benedict. That's the, uh... That's an equation done, like, a century or two ago, maybe, about how long people can survive without food, or whatever. Because, um, weight, height, age, and, um, I think it's muscle mass, or, like, uh, size, or how much a body usually, uh, consumes, or the calories you burn daily, something like that. Um, basically it just shows, like, what they, um, how much people need to survive a day, like, exactly. I've survived for two days without food, but I wouldn't recommend trying to starve yourself. The rain is still pouring outside. Whoopee. Don't cry when it rains, the weather was weeping for us all. Just a, um, Joe Lysett, um, Easter egg there. You can be the maker of the trees for the windows. So not only is it still raining, it's raining harder. Uh, I used to like the rain. Until today. You hear a story in blankets, arms and legs. Mario looks petrified. No, she still looks flesh, she's not made of stone. I... Couldn't sleep. Until he has bags under his eyes. The storm is too loud. Corinne looks out of it. She looks horrified. The cabin was creaking so much last night. It sounded alive. Gregor looks a little gaunt. I've got a good look out the window. More bad news? And? Couldn't see anything due to the rain. Save your calories. Great observation, Gregor. I was so hungry last night. I kept pacing around my bed. Don't do that, that's stupid. You should lie in bed, conserve your calories, until you can go out and look for food. Current turns to you. When is this going to end? I turn outside the door again. Floodwaters keep rising. Unfortunately, we're going to need to stay put unless you want us to, want us to drown in rainwater. Well... I don't think drowning is a very good death. It's slow and painful and, like, as the water flows your lungs, your life flashes before your eyes, I'm sure. Don't worry, I'm not cyber I don't know how it feels, but I assume that's how it feels. As soon as the wind lets up, we'll be able to scavenge for supplies. How close is the nearest town? I don't know. You guys didn't bring a bloody map? You didn't bring enough food? You didn't bring a compass? You brought, like, the bare minimum. All those things didn't bring clothes, either. And you didn't bring a bloomin' map? God. What'd you do when Kevin 19 is struck? Lick door handles? These guys are crazy. Didn't you have a map on you? I think I dropped it while we were running after Gregor. So you did bring a map. Should have confirmed that before I started ranting about licking door handles. Don't do don't let anybody do that in your family. It's very stupid and pretty foul. I'm sure it'll show up eventually. Haha, <laughs> yeah, no one's gonna laugh. But right, and I'll tell you why this is a sheet. How are we going to find our way back now? Well, have to ride out the storm. One thing at a time, perhaps, Mariah. And that's Karen. Mariah's there. Mariah looks at you. We're down to our last slice of bread. I don't know how much longer we can put off eating. We'll divide it into five different portions. And if we get too hungry, we can eat that mom on the shoulder. The group stares at you. It will clear up in no time. I wouldn't count on it, Rigor. Maybe you're right. The group looks worried. Can't say I blame them. They will gravitate to an area. 
You can tell we're always putting on fake optimism and why I was having trouble. Which one do you want to speak with today? Honestly, I'd rather just think about how I've doomed everyone, like we did last time. But, um... I don't really know for certain. I haven't actually spent much time with Gore, so I'll converse with him. Oh, hey. Hey, bro. I know you already searched the kitchen. But I had to double check. A full was here, and I would have couldn't have said a bit of myself. I wish everyone was in better spirits. Well, I'm afraid that is impossible. You can't rain forever. Wanna bet? Right? Rainfall in this area can last days to weeks. How do you know that? You told me all to stay strong. You know what? Thank you. Your group is really thankful for your kindness. Your all blushes a little bit. I always wanted to be the one that kept everyone in good spirits. But it's obvious you do that much better. Gregor is looking at you fondly. Be sure to remember that. I don't wanna- I mean, I want nothing more than a platonic relationship. But, whatever. The rain is pounding hard against the wooden cabin. But at least none of it's getting inside. I should've saved. Just realised now. You tell Gregor to keep his spirits up and join the other- Join the others. Okay, so... You call everyone together. They all look grim. I don't blame them once again. Where's your marmot? Used to be on your shoulder. You cut the tension in the room with a knife. Oh, I got a toga figurine for that. <laughs> she loves knives. Everyone is staring at you. Well, she loves blood more than knives, but what makes them people spill blood, usually she uses knives. She also uses a little uh, system that sucks blood out when you stab into them. Someone's playing Elden Ring. Good for them. Yes, they aren't starving in that. They're expecting that last piece of bread for dinner. You bring it out. Everyone cannot take their eyes off it. You instruct everyone to take a pinch. And slowly all five of you tear it apart like a wishbone. Everyone studies their piece of bread carefully, wondering how long it will last. Probably not very long. I'd say maybe... a minute, if you're careful. Karen is the first to eat hers. She chews each bite a few hundred times before swallowing. And Holly chews it cautiously. You don't need to, like, eat a tiny bit at a time, you know. It's all- it's, it's the same mat, it's gonna need all one go. But I can't understand why they're doing that. I think his mouth once he finishes each bite. Mariah nibbles on it silently, eyes wide, moving from person to person. And Gregor? How does he eat it? Gregor just pops it in his mouth like a cherry. I mean, I, either way, one of everyone would have had a, a slice of bread, a piece of bread, regardless of. Yes, it works. It was gone in an instant. The group thanks you awkwardly. I have a feeling that they didn't actually mean that, but yeah, it's not much. It'll have to last us. It's not much. Yeah, this game is reading it. My mind. But you've run out of options. You wish everyone good night and get ready for bed. You go to bed starving. Day six. So we almost spent a week in this foul cabin. There's a chessboard there. We close chess. Good morning. Stop talking, everyone. Just, you know, sit down. Conserve your calories. I've done it before. You guys can do it too. Morning. Let me check if the rain has stopped. It probably hasn't. It's still flooding. Yeah, figured. What are we going to do? She looks absolutely petrified. Your eyes have went from green to amber. Since when did you have that ability? You must have about two weeks, two, three weeks without food. Okay, never mind. Apparently you know more about Hannah's Benedict than me. Harris. Not... No, Harris, not Hannah's. Um, water wasn't a concern. Rainfall should end in a day or two, right? Actually, precipitation can occur more than 215 days a year here. Okay, so... If I was a math whiz, I would have figured out how many days it rained in a century. Considering someone might have lived here for 100 years, that's very unlikely to live for a century, but hey, the average human lifespan is like, what, 79 years? Probably less now, considering COVID.
My heart goes out to everyone who's lost someone due to COVID. Um, it's been pretty rough on me, but I haven't lost anyone quite yet. Not at least no our family members. Oh man, uh, let's see, 100 years, so it would have rained, wait, I just need to multiply that by, roughly, I just need to multiply that by 100. So, 21,500 days in 100 years. Over that. I think, I think a year is like, what, 52 weeks, uh, 52 weeks? If I had a calculator, I'd consider more, but, yeah. I, I'm not a math guy, I'm, I'm an English major. But do you really think it'll rain that long? Our character himself said, even though I don't know how they know this, obviously I live in this cabin, that our precipitation can last for uh, days to weeks to possibly even a month. And Tolly? It's been days already. What makes you think we'll stop soon? Couldn't smart. Eh. Well, thanks everyone. Let's see how long we can run this out. Fingers crossed it's done by tomorrow. Probably not. Panic is slowly creeping in. Everyone's looking scared. But you need to survive. Someone's playing Tom Clancy. Counting your will begin to discuss Nathan Woods. Do you want to stay with Maya in the kitchen? Maya are totally in the living room. See, that's the sort of thing I'd do. Uh, I'm actually going to save. I'll save in this slot because I'll play. I'll play back from this, and um, yeah, I'll save then. Um, yeah, I'll do this. <laughs> could you have rushed in the supplies better? You crunch the numbers one more time. You could have reduced the amount of vegetables used in the stew, but it was their first day. You had to impress them. Was there anything you could have done differently? Probably not. Mariah, Anatoly, Gregor, Corinne. You wonder if they're upset with you. Probably not. Gregor calls the group over for a meeting. Though, I'm pretty sure everyone thinks I'm pretty careless for wasting their supplies like that. I didn't waste them, I cooked them, but still, you know what I mean. I don't think any of us can take this much longer. Gregor's always starts to crack. I don't want to ask this, but... It's time. One of us needs to go outside and search for food. Will drown. Everyone is silent. I'll go. Mariah, maybe she's still all the time near my house. So I probably have the best chance of swimming through the floodwaters. No, let me go instead. You won't get very far if anything happens to your glasses, Anatoly. Your blind is a mole rat, remember? That's true, but little guy, let me go. Can you swim? Regular eight. Sounds good to me. Corinne, there's not anything any longer, so I'll probably be busy climbing trees out of all of us. How's that gonna help him swim through water? No, that wouldn't be right at all. Let me go instead. I get that none of these options are good ones, but we need to find food or help. We've already has a branch from the woodpile. He cuts them to different measurements. Since we can't come to a consensus, you just said you'd go. Let's draw for it. Let's pick one from my hand. And the shortest will go outside and search for food. You're not worried about drawing. You sort of cut the branch lengths, so you can tell which one is the biggest one in the bunch. You pick it. We're a bit of a we're a bit of an ass in this game, really. We're a bit of a dirtbag. Watch the others intently. Will it be Gregor, Anatoly, Corinne? Will it be mm -hmm. Looks like I've got the shortest. Sad music. Mariah. Mariah. It's... okay. I wish I had totally forward, Julia. So I'll know what to look out for. Just swim until you find high ground in the scout the area. Maybe you'll find a fish out there. Now, I did suggest that you catch some fish, but... Mariah doesn't like meat. What I do like about her is her blue eyes. Everyone looks heartbroken. If she had a pink eye, then I'd like her a bit more, but it doesn't really matter too much. Corinne, Anatoly, Gregor, I'll keep us alive. I promise. 
Safe travels. She promised. Everyone watches Mariah leaves the cabin. The silence is deafening. Goodbye. What's with the last bye talk? I mean, we might never see each other, but still. Little shots behind her. You can finally hear yell about how cold the water is. And then silence. That... Isn't that music from, uh, Pitscop? I used to watch those. Those videos on YouTube. Speaking of which, if it was up to me, I wouldn't have cut branch links. I would have just, uh, I would have just rolled the die, because that's completely random. I got another train side of die. This one's got a demur symbol on it. The other one was, um... The other one was the one with the Azorius signet on it. I think that's what it was called. I'm sure we'll see her again. The rest of the group nods. Everyone stays up, waiting and waiting. The sun is completely set. One by one, each person quietly shuffles off to bed. You get ready for bed and easily pass out. But she may unlock, she's dead to me. Something tells me she died. You have a strange dream. The two women in front of you could be twins. One of them you recognize, the other was a guest. Whilst the guests sit on a shovel, and you try pushing it into the oven. Her legs are so strong you can't get her into the oven. You curse at her repeatedly, like this, you hiss. You stretch out your legs until your toes are almost sticking in the coals. You feel four hands on your shoulders, and both of them push you in. This is sounding like, um... This is sounding like the, um... Uh, animation on Clay Entertainment that I watched about, um, with Wendy and Abigail, because they were very protective and, uh, and they were very, uh, they were nice to each other, although uh, it seems as though as, uh, Abigail was more the, um, bookish type, I guess. I'm drinking coke every now and then because my throat is sore. The familiar smell of smoke and burning hair causes you to throw up on the embers. You can't then end like this. You rip the metal door off the oven, tearing through the wood logs of the cabin. God, we are a beast! We just turned to the Hulk! Screaming, you chase the two through the woods. The bur your burns chill with the wind. The guests look behind there, and their eyes widen when she sees you. She's terrified. Your free rips trees out by their roots, soil from the ground, rocks from their pits. You've never been this angry in your entire life. Their stamina can't last forever, you're gaining on them. As you trample through a field of wheat, I guess there's a piece of coal behind her. Ah, oh, a cloth. I, I can't read that. You, uh, catch the glint of the sun. Catch a glint of it in the sun. Golden. As if by magic, earth splits in front of you, creating a chasm of fire below. You fall into the bits, screaming as your eyes begin to sizzle from the heat. Hellfire fills your lungs. You're unable to scream anymore. You wake in a cold sweat. I got a good enough look at that. Uh, it was two people looking to a, um... The two females looking into the chasm when fire looked at the walls. I'm uh, very good at day seven. We spent a weekend here. I'm very good at analyzing structure um, items and like a quick gl glimpse. Good morning. Do you think she meant to high ground? We'll have to wait and see, won't we, Gregor? I believe in Mariah. Me too. She'll be fine. I somehow wouldn't wager on that, Gregor. Right, little guy? So, what do we do now? Just wait? Go on. What else can we do? How long? It's been almost a day since she left. Until we all look nervous. Someone needs to go and look for her. We need to wait, Corinne. Wait for what? The nearest town is miles and miles away. Waiting is all we can do for now. And on Tolly, at least. Discovered. Figured that out. So it could be days before she gets back? Yes. What are you supposed to eat? Mice? Well, she's not here to complain about meat anymore, so, I mean, we could. And there's a mouse hole there, so... I mean, it's, if it's mandatory, we'll go for it. Karun, we're trying to tell you we'll agree, but we'll discuss the next option when we get to it. We've already been there for at least a day or two. Everyone wake, every waking thought is about food now. I never should have eaten that much. I'm, I'm... Karen's hands are involuntarily shaking. Gregorian and Anatoly just not in agreement. 
Don't even need her to elaborate. You're sure Mariah will make it back. She promised. But fried promises can be broken. Everyone retreats to the areas. What do you want to do today? Honestly, I don't know anymore. Guess I just gotta choose one. I'll roll the die until I get a one or two or three. That is an eight. That is a fifteen. That is a ten. That is a nine. Seventeen. Crying out loud. You know, I'm just gonna choose one at random because apparently rolling this die isn't gonna get me anywhere. I'll talk to Corinne. Why is that board up? Hey, there's another mouse hole there, so. It's very round, it's really smooth for a mouse hole. Yeah, I should lie to me. And then Mariah's not coming back. I don't know where she came up with being this swimmer. I guess the only one who would know that would be Anatoly. Last summer, Anatoly would watch her swim from the shore. He could have been a lifeguard, such a good swimmer. She never went under, but if she did, he would have pulled her out easily. Why would she lie about something like that? Because she's uh, delicate and caring and wants us to live over her? I don't know. Corinne seems deep in thought. Then he said to leave her alone. He closed the door softly. No higher relationship. Best case scenario, she died painlessly. I'm talking about Mariah here. I can't stop thinking about that vegetable stew. I'd be fine with just the bread and jam. I'd be fine with just the strawberries. <laughs> no one's gonna laugh. Nobody else laughs. Yeah. I would kill for some bitch with right now. Is that word that I like? But this is leading to starvation. And uh I don't I still don't really see the horror. This is like a survival This is like a survival visual novel, like a dialogue like a dialogue heavy game, like a dating sim, but I don't really know for certain. You would too. Kill for some vegetables. We might have to start killing each other for the meat. I'm going to try and get some sleep. Cannibalism. If this game reflected to cannibalism, then that would be great. Not many games reflect to cannibalism these days. Good night. Night. You fall asleep quickly, but you only dream about desecrating a corpse. Oh god, we killed someone, didn't we? You wake in a cold sweat. In a completely different room. Day 8. We're getting there. We're living on. Weirdly. Good morning, if it is a good morning. I can't hear the rain anymore, so maybe it stopped? Will you cook for the group today? With what? We only have one option, so... You take out a cutlet of meat and you're going to cook it in the oven. We killed someone, didn't we? It's tiny. You cooked meat. I have a feeling I know who that meat came from. Where'd you get that? You ignore Corinne's question. Does that smell? We will find the off the couch. Where did you... The three are looking at you, salivating. You take the char meat out of the oven, cutting into small cutlets. They immediately grab some of the plate, chewing ferociously. You take a piece and immediately devour it. The team unlocked a downward spiral. Do you have any more of this? You found the meat is sword securely hidden, so you can ration better this time. Judging by the fact that you probably don't have a refrigerator, as I've seen there's not no um, refrigeration in the kitchen, I'd recommend you cook it right away, cause, or like salt it, because then it'll last longer. We don't want it to go bad. So you can ration bit of this time. I understand. Thank you. Until he runs to the bathroom, puking in the toilet. You can hear him sobbing for a few minutes. This taste is... 
we found Mariah's corpse, didn't we? River one is off. And Tolly returns looking choked up. I'm just too weak. Leave him some of the meat. Don't fight the sound of Tolly. And Tolly takes a cutlet off the plate, turning his back to the group as he devours it. Also, uh, I forgot to mention, I already made a thumbnail for this, and it took me four and a half hours, so if you like the thumbnails that I do, please like, or comment, or like, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Because I'm at 98, really close to 100, which is uh, really, really fun. Which is a lot of, um, which means a lot to me. Because the uh, thumbnails, I draw them myself and it takes a really long time. You can hear him crying. Finally, my focus is coming back. I'm going to read some of those books. Oh god. Keep them occupied, okay? Yep, Corinne leaves you with the men. Who do you want to talk to? I'll talk to someone as soon as I make a save point. I'll talk to Gregor again. Interesting music. Hey! Thanks for cooking the meat earlier. From nearly, I was nearly passing out from hunger pangs. Even if I'm meat and potatoes kind of guy, I appreciate the visionary decisions you made earlier. You really respected Mariah's boundaries. You're as dumb as bricks, aren't you? Thank you. Who was the more density you gave him credit for? <laughs> and this is some extras. Slip me some extra meat. Okay? We all remember that. Uh, he might not live long enough to remember that if the meat goes bad. We do not respect my boundaries. The way I see it, we divide them into portions and fed it to you guys. Go and see how Anatoly is doing. Later! Peace. Have the bedroom all to yourself. What do you want to check first? This is my first time in the bedroom. I'm actually going to make a save point. Um, what do I check? Under the beds, underneath the floorboard. I am curious about that. Let me check there. You notice a bone sticking out. Is it a human bone? Nope, chicken bone. Oh, well, okay. Gross. Ugh. I'll look under the beds now. Look under both of the beds. Just some dust and hair. Lovely. Yeah, gross. Inside the nightstand? Onion? Don't be a crybaby, it's just me. I'm not crying. Yeah, I know who you are. I'm just playing with some of the toys in this drawer. You're far too old to be playing with any of them. Hey, I still have soft toys, I don't play with, play or sleep with them, but, yeah. Um, they're like, I keep them as, like, collectibles. Or, like, sentimental objects. You're never too old for toys. Really? I'm pretty sure no one wants to sleep with an ended soft toy. <laughs> anyway, I need to attend the secret Trump bed meeting. Smell you later! I get bounces out of the bedroom. Was that a glitch on my laptop, or... The recording? I don't know. The drawer has various children's toys in it. What's this? A team unlocked. Note taken. It's a, it's a note. I found a secret, I think. June 26th, 1962. 1860. What? How old is this? It's... 160 years old. Not exactly, but, like, not down to the day, but through the years. Another body in the chil another body of a child has been discovered within the city of Zakopane. Isn't that, like, near Ukraine or something? I can't remember. My geography was never very good. But the remains stuffed in the into a barrel of potatoes. I think I'm going to have, a need, have to have a word with the Trompiers, because potato ain't going to like this. The cause of death was... 
identical to earlier victims, with significant blood loss due to multiple stab wounds to the stomach. Yeah. This marks the fourth victim by the Butcher of Zakapane in less than a month. Well, we're the 26th, this is better than one day. You take the bloody newspaper with you. I see my lock, taking notes. Progress one out of five. This five notes? I'll need to find more. Hours pass. The meal gave everyone the perseverance to keep going. Eating will just make them hungrier. Yeah, it sharpens the pain in the stomach when they eat um, after a while of not eating. They're fine now, but soon they'll be eating for more. We've waited long enough. What's for dinner? You can't explain how the ration is. You want to ration the meat better this time, and there will be no dinner. Fine. I understand. Yes, I'd rather eat tomorrow than more today. No arguments? Perfect. Everyone decides to call an early night. You fall asleep instantly tonight. Any dreams? You have a strange dream. We're having dinner with a blacksmith. Is his name Clint? I met him in our Stardew Valley. Yeah. But he's not touching his food. The only light in the room comes from the oven. He clears his throat, stroking his beard. I can forge anything, he says. Your eye has been giving you issues lately. Don't talk to me about eye trouble. Crying out loud. Everyone who listens to me on a Discord will know what I mean. Forge me a new eye, then. You laugh. But then the ropes come out. He tries to do a chair with a long rope to prevent you from struggling. He's actually going to forge me a new eye? You rip the rope apart without even trying, so the blacksmith uses a thicker rope. No turning back now. He takes a hot poker out of the coals. Holding it in front of his face, you can see his beard and eyes watching you. He slowly brings back the poker, aiming carefully for your eye, before plunging it through your skull with a sickening crunch. The force of the blow throws you backwards a few feet. You're unable to break the ropes. You vomit all over your chest. As the smell of your dismantled eye floods your nostrils, the blacksmith stands over you, spitting on your body. You wake in a cold sweat. Ah, oh, that is ghastly. I don't know why, but the eyes always make me wince. Like whenever someone like stabs the eye, that makes me just wince. You wake up to see Gregor looking out the window. He turns to you, smiling. Take a look out the window. Do you notice anything? I can hear the rain still. What's that whispering? The floodwaters have receded a little bit, but everyone is still bound to the cabin. The trail used to be completely visible. It's gone now. Good morning, big guy. Achievement unlocked. Indoors person. I am an indoors person in real life, but, um,. How do I put this lightly? In this game, I think everyone wishes they weren't. Will Mariah type make it back? I don't think she's alive. So I sound a little crazy, but even at around 2am, I can hear her outside. You should be asleep by 2am. I am, usually. Sometimes I wake up at 2am, because I go to bed around about 7 or 8pm. I'm, I'm an early bird. Used to be a night owl, but I change every now and then. She makes this awful gurgling noise, like she's trying to get water out of her lungs. Have you heard a gurgle? Sometimes when the rain gets faint, I think I can hear her whispering. I haven't heard anything like that. But she's whispering. It's like she's trying to tell you something, right? That's nightmare fuel, I like that. Yes. I sometimes hear her crying through the radio. That's just a broadcast. Right. There's adding more horror. Good. I like that. I think we should have another piece of meat for breakfast. One step closer to Mariah. Well, she's always going to be inside you, that's for sure. That's what she would have wanted. What's gotten into you, Anatoly? Anatoly's eyes look at you, begging. Bring us another slab. Please. Who really doesn't have the stomach for it. I can't get the taste out of my mouth. Please help me. 
Uh, Anatoly. We all looked pain at Anatoly's words. I think he's right. Please bring us more of that meat. You grab some of the meat from your secret hiding place. You cut them into squares, adding them to the boiling cauldron water. So you're making like a broth? It would taste bland without any seasoning, but you need to serve it up right away. Hmm. What's taking so long? Boil it faster! It's almost done. Patience. He's losing humanity. It's finally finished. You serve the meat and bowls. Those look pretty empty to me. Gregor drinks the broth first before swallowing the chunks whole, like a duck does when eating bread. And Tully creates the ripples in the broth using a spoon. He isn't eating. I'm sorry about earlier, everyone. I... I don't know what overtook me. The cannibalism is getting to... is poisoning people's minds. No. Raya. And Tully begins to weep. You look over at Corinne. Didn't notice her even start to eat. There's an empty bowl now. Karen is staring right at you. How much more meat is left? I mean, it's something bad. You explain how much of it has gone bad. Yeah, thought so. I said, you should have tried it, or eaten more, or refrigerated it. Frozen it even, that would be better. This is the last of it. Gah! How could you be so careless again? Don't ask me, Karen, ask the protagonist! They're an absolute. The protagonist is an absolute idiot. You remember Corinne's knife. You need to think fast. What the hell are we supposed to do now? Wait around again? Possibly. The storm isn't ending. You clear your throat. Anatoly? Yes? I think tomorrow you should look for Mariah. Well, actually, uh, all he needs to do is look at the bad mate. And he'll be. Oh, there he is. There she is. Look forward to plants outside. Alright, what about his glasses? I think you should go tomorrow, little guy. Nobody else can even wait in more plots like you. I, I, Please, Anatoly. You can swim back after a few hours. I'm not going to draw for it again. Gregor is right, Anatoly. Maybe you'll find Mariah out there. I think Mariah's fine by herself. He still doesn't accept what happened yet. Yeah. He doesn't need anyone's help. But we need your help, Anatoly. That's right, Anatoly. Please help us. Let me sleep on it, okay? No problem, little guy. Hmm. Once again, where am I sleeping? Still, in the rocking chair now? Everyone shows off to their room, reading books or knitting to pass the time. All of a sudden they knit? You got a bit ravenous. Mariah. I heard whispering, but it's not in English. I think it's like... I don't know what that is. Russian? Ukrainian? They did say they were from Ukraine. Something is approaching. Onion! Onion? Hey! Don't be a crabby, that's just me. And that's from kindergarten, that noise. Onion. They're going to be very sweet today. I'm worried about our toy. He's going to cave to peer pressure. Can you stop him from leaving the cabin? Do not answer onion. Please? Don't you trust me? You shake your head. I don't trust an onion. Uh, um, I have to trust myself. Got a fun fact away for you. Did you know that leaving an unpeeled onion in your room absorbs bacteria? No, it doesn't. People believe- people used to think it did, though. I'll prevent colds and water viruses. That was a lie. The fun fact of the myth, people actually believed it in the 1500s. Jeez. How embarrassing. Unfortunately, I don't think he wanted to be 520. So... <laughs> who would believe that? Uh, morons. There was even a doctor in 1919 who caused a surge of people believing it. What, like anti-vaxxers? Anyways. You know what smells like a raw onion left in the room? You! I just showered yesterday, bro. I shall twice a day and wash my hands as often as possible. It's been a while since your last bath, right? You can't remember. Cause it's even unlocked, don't be a crybaby. Cause tell you before I even came in the room. Yikes. So, can you stop Anatoly from leaving? I know he has Kevin here, but this is ridiculous. It'd be impossible to stop a grown man from leaving. Please. 
We don't need another one stalking the hallways. Tapping on the windows. Crying through the radio. I forgot we had that radio on us. We have the sudden urge to scream. Why do you think I've been using the mouse to get around? See a death that I'll run into her. You're lucky that the mice haven't eaten you. Don't make me tattle on cabbage about you. She can be as mean as potato if you're on her bad side. Smell out that's possible. Just kidding, she's great. Anyways, when the time comes, just tell her and tell her you care for, about him and don't want him to leave. Even if it's me, okay? You can trust me. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to work on some new ice skates. You're a bloody onion! What are you going to use ice skates for? I made a butter slices so I can skate around the frying pan tomorrow. Onion. Later! Bye. Your mind finally manages to forget everything that happened. I'm afraid of what happens, what this means to my mental health, honestly. Day 10. You have a strange dream. A fox is collecting payment in your living room. You despise him. So you put two dogs in the bottom of the sack, then add six chickens on top. Okay. The fox smiles at you and leaves. At some point in his journey, the fox will eventually open the sack, and the dogs tear the fox in half. Filled with such likeness of the fox, you gave me the only thing you had for food. All those chickens. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what a dog weighs, but I'm guessing if it was a dog that tear apart a fox, I'm guessing it's like maybe at least two or three chickens. So, all you really needed to do was put two chickens in there along with the dogs, because he wouldn't know the dogs were in there. Uh, if he considered weight. So, you really you really still, still would have had four chickens. You could have gotten eggs, unless they were roosters. As no power up outside, you'd be able to eat whatever you can find. Pillowcases, handles, leather. Are we the Lermin all of a sudden? They're from, um, they're from folklore. I think Slavic folklore? Or something? Ah, uh, they were... They were little trolls who lived in the mountains, uh, and gave gifts to people who were good that year, and I think there were like 13 of them, and gave bad luck and misfortune to ones who were bad. But they, one of them ate candles, because candles were made of fat back then. One day you wake up and there's nothing left to eat. Absolutely nothing. That's an insatiable hunger. A few days later you go mad and leave the cabin, completely ravenous. And now a tree looks like charred meat. What the? What happened now? Okay. Your iron teeth cut through the tree bark, tearing your gums apart by the splinters. Ooh, that sounds nasty. Your mouth was cooked with blood. Days that a deer gallops by, the first creature in the woods to see your corpse, making a cold sweat. Something smells terrible in the living room. Some puked in a corner. Was it you? You wrap it up with a rag to save them the embarrassment. Good morning. It's not going to be a good morning for you, Anatoly. I'm guessing that you made your choice to leave. Good morning, little guy. Well, Anatoly, as you've unlocked bad ideas, what's your decision? I barely slept last night. The whispers came through one of the holes in the floor. You keep telling me to come outside. Hmm. I don't want to rush you. But one of us puked last night. Ah. Oh. So that's what that smell was? Anatoly, my patience is wearing thin. You have one hour to make your decision. Why, why so quickly? Hmm. Because I'm not waiting any longer. She looks sadistic. You can see the glint of Corinne's knife under her dress. Did she bring a knife with her or was that, knife, was that knife in the cabin? Just to watch out for that knife. The group disperses. Tensions seem to be rising. You have one hour to kill. What do you want to do? I'll converse with Corinne, but first... I'll make a save. Hi. Keep this between us. I'm not giving Anatoly a choice today. He's going outside. Do I make myself clear? Ooh, making a 
save. Yeah, I do. Good. Thank you for understanding. Couldn't crack the smile. Missing that's rare. Unless I can't remember that. More hearts? The relationship is stronger. Now, get everyone together for a meeting and let's get them to leave. It's been like, what, 15 seconds, not an hour. You probably want to give them to discuss the next steps. <sighs> and Tully, you okay, little guy? And Tully looks pale, like he's gonna pass out. And Tully, have you made a decision? Yes. I hope you all out. I promise. Thank you, Anatoly. Big tears went on his cheeks. I, I'll miss you, big guy. I'll miss you, little guy. Hmm. Thank you, Anatoly. I know this wasn't easy, but it's for the best. Karen? Yes? I... We all looks at you expectantly. Did you want to say anything to Anatoly? Yeah, I'm going to tell me to make you... To make you not leave. You say nothing. Maybe if I maxed out my hearts with them, I'd be like, um... I'd be able to tell them not to leave. I mean, I can swim personally, so I might leave. Eventually. Uh, I... Goodbye, Anatoly. Goodbye, everyone. Good luck, old guy. More pet cop music. Anatoly has left the cabin. Something tells me he ain't coming back either. See you soon, little guy. Hmm. Guess what we can do now? Let's wait. Good night. Who goes to the bedroom to sleep? I... I didn't tell him the truth. Did you have, uh, more than platonic relationship with him? He are always getting choked up. I didn't tell him. I'm missing him already. We will close up on the couch for the night and back to you. Do I sleep on one of the beds this time? Because one of the beds is free. I'll be forever. You shut your eyes, we'll be falling asleep. You hear a scraping from the floor. Another one of the trumpets. Bread. It sounds like an illager. Found you. Yeah, that's definitely a villager noise. <laughs> yes, I know this isn't a good time right now. This is no laughing matter. I'm worried about Gregor. He's as tall as a tree, but as dumb as a brick. I've already established that already. What's the root of that? I am dreading these puns. Another cornbread classic. Yeah, cornbread seriously needs to buy a joke book or something. They're being very unpopular right now. Or popular. That's a tree reference, get it? I feel like dying. Anyway, you need to protect your girl from the red-haired woman. She has a name, it's Corinne. Cabbage called an emergency trumpet meeting and told me to give you this mission. Watch out for that knife. Uh, achievement unlocked, no laughing matter, and protect your girl at all costs. Understood? Do I understand? I'll make the save point. Honestly, this is just crazy. Uh... I mean, I get what they're saying, I don't know if I can do it though. I'm just gonna say nothing. You're fooling nobody with that act. You never had hearing loss. Never said I did. Let's go with a non-verbal answer, alright? Particular at all costs. Still saying nothing. I'm just gonna say no then, because this guy's starting to tick me off. And I feel like I don't have a choice anyway. If I try and protect him, I'll probably just get myself killed. Does everyone look like a snack to you? No, everyone looks pretty different to me. You know, everyone's a snowflake. Different people. I'm not giving you a choice on this. Let's try that again. Protect Gregor at all costs.
I don't have a choice. This is getting worse and worse for me. You know what? <laughs> it's the yeast you can do, right? Oh my, shoot me. You tell me that pun didn't make sense. On a roll today, I'll see you around. I go. Like a bread roll. Bread hops away, squeezing himself through a mouse hole with a small pop. You fall asleep thinking what bread told you. That's a piece of bread. You have a strange dream. It's lying on the table in front of you. You take off the glasses first, partially cracking the down next to the workbench. We're just creating Anatoly's corpse, aren't we? Work from the saw, you wrap the cuts in old newspaper. Something hits Hoggy immediately, so you're going to dry the cuts with a towel before wrapping. Is that what the, um, is that what got the, uh, newspaper bloody that we found? Much better. You hear something approaching, and you clench your fist to get ready to strike what he was coming you. You wake in a cold sweat. Day 11. Anyway, I've almost used the hour mark, so I think I'm going to get an episode here on a new day. Yeah, whatever. Um, anyway, yeah, I'm going to get an episode. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this uh, video. Please do like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, all that jazz if you're after being joining us. Why don't you just turn to your family, maybe your friends are even just... Oh, wait, first, I want to check something on the title screen. There were less of them now. Usually there's five extras. Ah, oh, there's profiles. There's the potato there's the profiles of the jump pits. Yeah. There's uh there's this there's like uh profiles, all of them. Are these the recipes? Yeah, they are. Most of the farmers used to be informing that. And this is the Lebanese style tabouli. They seem pretty vegan to me. Oh, uh, that is cold. I really like these. I guess that's Mariah's ghoul transformation. But yeah, as you can see, that's the two people. They actually look a bit like Winnie and Abigail. And that's the, uh, blacksmith. And that's the, uh, corpse that was running on my back, and that's, uh, the boy with the oven. But, uh, yeah, if you want to read these profiles, I guess someone else has done it for you. You can find it online, probably. Uh, but, yeah, I didn't finish all my intro, so I'll just start over again. Thanks so much for watching this video. How oh, true, not true. Thanks so much for watching this video. Please do like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, all that jazz. If you are feeling generous, you're just hearing nobody grunt. That's Mariah. Knock me flat, somebody. If you enjoyed us, watch this to stay with your family or maybe your friends who are interested in the course. Please consider subscribing. It's 100% free, you can't subscribe at any time, and I always be out of time. I'm really close to 100 subscribers, which is absolutely mental. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching this video, and we'll of course be seeing you in the next one. Uh, deuces!